people need to understand, you know, um, how PINSA was triggered. And when people are talking about the financial meltdown in the 1995, right? People need to separate, right? The 1995 financial meltdown, right? And FINSA. The 1995 financial meltdown is what caused PINSA to be triggered, right? Where the government utilized, right, um, certain financial mechanism, right, as it relates to buying up the bad debts, right, and try to have the bank system fixed, right? Now, some people need to understand when you're talking about FINSA, what really happened, right? Who caused FINSA? What was the source? What was the reason why the 1995 financial meltdown occurred? The primary reason, let us, start, let us tell everyone who is talking about FINSA, the primary reason as to why the 1995 financial meltdown occurred was as a result of the failure, right, of certain banking institutions as it relates to Paul Chen Young, right, um, Merchant Bank and all those banks, right? You, you will heard about Dan Crawford. You will heard about Edward Philip George Siaga. Now, the primary reason for that, right, was to the fact that these banks were giving unsecure loans that caused a collapse in the system. These persons who were, you understand, who, who, who found guilty of the situation, they associated, right, with the Jamaica Labour Party. They, let me, let me repeat that. Those persons who causes the financial meltdown, right, were associated with the Jamaica Labour Party. Now, the talk, who were all the persons associated with the Jamaica Labour Party? Paul Chenya. Right? You cross Kerry. Dan Crawford. And Edward Philip George Siaga. That is the source and the engine that caused the financial meltdown. But I'm going to leave that because we are going to address that on the Titans, right? Bring in some more research. And what Omar Davis had done, right? If people understand as it relates to certain financial crisis, right? It happened into the United States and the methodology that was that, that Omar Davis used, right? It was done in the United States. It was also done in UK. So there is nothing, let me let me for people who are talking about what Omar Davis done as it relates to. You know, um, creating FINSA, right, buying up the bad debts, and some people said they did not get the opportunity to do this and to do that, right? The mechanism that was was used, and again, right, don't believe that it is Omar Davis just get up overnight and make decision. It it doesn't work like that. During what happened as it relates to what, right, Paul Chen Young and his cumberland, including Dan Crawford and Edward Philip George Siaga has done, right? There were discussions in terms of what Omar Davis had done to fix the problem as it relates to checking with financial advisors, right? And, and try to get the best opinion at the time, you understand, to deal with the situation where you have persons who are acquainted with the GLP had done. And just like SSL that we are going to dig tonight, we have seen now the guilty culprits Resurface. I'm glad you, you, you mentioned that. And yes. the for, FINSAC is just an acronym for the Ex Financial Sector Adjustment Company. Exactly. And it was and to understand the meltdown of the, the, the financial, the banking sector, the banking sector in the 1990s, it did not start 1990. It did not start 1989. It started from the previous administration where the banking sector was not living up to doing things within the parameters of their banking charter. Exactly. And so it created 
over time, it created a debacle that culminated in the 1990s. And then the government now had to come in and deal with the crisis of liquidity and solvency of these same banks exactly. and to sell them off to people so they could shore up the economy, that the economy did not collapse altogether, not only creating a crisis in Jamaica, but a crisis in the Caribbean and the wider world. So that is, in a nutshell, what it is. It's not yes. anything. Nobody wasn't trying to steal any money. You had some banking bank, some bankers who were not doing the right. They were policing themselves first of all, and then when it was found out that them, them policing themselves wasn't the best thing, then the government had to step in and say, "We need to rectify the situation." And if we are not, we had SSL which is basically the same thing that happened in, 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 the, in the 1990s. And if we are not careful, we might have another Berita on our hands, which is not doing things within the confines of its own banking charter, right? I'm using those words just to make it as simple as I possibly can. And so spoken, that is the issue. As it's spoken about Berita, right? right? Berita is traveling down the very same line of what occurred in FinSAC in 1995. Because, and who got loans? Who got unsecured loan? The Prime Minister, Prime Minister Andrew Wallace, right? Got 50 million unsecured loan from Berita. The very same thing that happened to FinSAC, right? And of course- Edward Siaga got Edward, unsecured loan unsecured. from Central National Bank. That is yeah. the problem. So that is the problem. So when people are talking about, and people are talking about um, Omar Davis, people go and um, take, um, commit suicide and Omar Davis, right? Uh, all sort of foolishness. Pick up in there, Brian. You made a very good point about people. Yeah, a lot of people lost their homes and businesses and life savings. But it's not because of FinTech. It's because of what the banks were doing. Exactly. And the banks found themselves in that situation. So it was the government now who had to come in and try and save as much as possible. Exactly. So it wasn't a deliberate at um it wasn't delib a, a deliberate attack on the part of the government to say, oh I which which okay, which government would want to see their banking sector go belly up? None. Yeah. And people talk about the Bank of Jamaica had had was 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 dry. Who you think ran the Bank of Jamaica dry? Edward Siaga. Edward Siaga. And they call him a financial genius. So we need to understand where all this is coming from. It didn't start overnight. And where blame is to be laid, we, we lay blame. We're, we're, we're smart enough to be able to make this, to, to, to call a spade a spade exactly. and say what it, a, a thing, call a thing a thing without, you know, being um partisan because this is not partisan this affects the jamaican people 